On behalf of the Worldwide Church of Seventh-day Adventists, with over 21 million members in about 210 countries of the world, I want to say congratulations to this institution, uh, Félicitations. Meeting that we had that has been referenced uh, some years ago with His Excellency the President, that meeting was pivotal in what has developed to this extraordinary day in which we are experiencing right now. Through the facilitation of your office and this government and many other supporters, it has developed into a school of medicine. This is only the beginning because if one is to accomplish something in an educational manner, you have to have more than nice buildings. It's what happens inside the buildings. It was a privilege to be here three years ago for the groundbreaking of essentially four different buildings. And well, His Excellency the President was shown by Dr. Pennycook some of those buildings as we walked here. And that was an eventful time three years ago, but now to see the reality is even more impressive because we know what God is going to do inside the buildings, and this is what makes the difference in Seventh-day Adventist education. May this university and medical school make a huge difference for the people of Rwanda and East Africa as it ministers in the name of the Master Physician, Jesus Christ. May this university and medical school consistently lean with humility, by God's grace, may this seventh medical school of the worldwide Seventh-day Adventist Church be a place of restoration as they focus on the Master Physician, and his blended ministry of reaching people physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. It gives me great pleasure to join you today for the inauguration of the School of Medicine of the Adventist University of Central Africa. Congratulations on this milestone, which is most valuable addition to Rwanda's education and health system. Let me take this opportunity to salute the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Rwanda. For making 100 years of service, of serving the spiritual and the social needs of Rwandans. During this time, the church has been a valued partner of government in the provision of health care and education. A century of Adventist activity in Rwanda has demonstrated the positive impact of shared vision and good collaboration. By fulfilling your pledge to establish a medical school uh, serving East and Central Africa, you have reaffirmed your commitment to a productive partnership that benefits not only Rwanda, but the entire region. The achievement we are celebrating today is in tune with Rwanda's goals. Education, particularly in science and technology, as well as good, affordable health care, are the foundation of the well-being and prosperity of our citizens. This requires qualified professionals trained in high-quality universities, such as this one, which are equipped with the latest technology. Medical students at this school will also benefit from the extensive network of Adventist institutions 
around the world as well as association with a brand that stands for excellence. <laughs> Government will play its part by continuing to invest in infrastructure, vocational skills, and a conducive policy environment. I wanted to make sure that uh, it is well understood that there is plenty of faith. And uh, we have more faith to keep going and to keep doing more in addition to what we already have here in this school. <laughs> By that I mean also uh, that we are going to partner with you in making sure that uh, uh, teaching hospital is realized faster than anyone thought. <laughs> we, we will find land. <laughs> we will also find money to add to what you have collected. <laughs> I think we all need this uh, teaching hospital uh, sooner rather than later. So we will do it. We are aware of the immeasurable value of higher education and good health accompanied by a meaningful spiritual life. When we put our talents and uh, specialized knowledge at the service of others, the gift of education is multiplied many times over. That is what the doctors trained here are expected to do. The Adventist University of Central Africa is therefore contributing to a brighter future for the people of our country and our region. Allow me once again to thank all of you and the Seventh-day Adventist Church for sharing our vision, having faith in Rwanda's future, and accompanying us on our journey of national transformation. I wish to end by thanking you once again for being good partners and also for your kind attention.